Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> How many of y'all have done what I was talking about, about putting up dipos? Okay. Took a long time to put it up, cut it multiple times. How many of y'all have cut it too short? <laughs> okay, oh, wow. That's worse than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, here's how we're going to do it. Let's say <clears throat> that we're going to cut a dipole for 7.2 megahertz, 40 meter bands. Of course, of course, the first thing you want to do, you always want to cut it a little bit longer. Okay? <clears throat> and, of course, <clears throat> what you always use is that 468 divided by frequency in, in megahertz, and that gives you the length, which is almost always the wrong length. Okay. <clears throat> well, this number right here is kind of an average thing, you know. And if we had the right number right there, if it was for your situation, for how far it is above ground and how close it is to trees, how big a conductor you're using, you know, that kind of stuff, then we can get it right. Okay, so what we're going to do is to find that right number here, okay? <clears throat> now, in order to do that, you've got to cut it one time and put it up and make one measurement, okay? So um, you calculate this thing out using this, this formula here, and you get this 65.9155 feet. You put the dipole up, <clears throat> you put the uh, 269 on it, and you measure the frequency <clears> of <throat> the lowest SWR, and you come up with this. Way too low for what you want. What you want is this 7.2, but it came out to be 7.044. That's okay, because we're just going to use that number to get us another new one of these things. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we come, come back up here to this formula, which is this now, L. This K1 used to be this 468 F1. <clears throat> and what we do is to just solve for that K1. <clears throat> Using the frequency that you measured, which is that 7.1, then you put the actual length in it which is what you cut it for, all right? <clears throat> so 65.911 uh, uh, feet goes in here for L. Uh, um, F1 is the frequency that you measure. Just plug that in, and you solve for K1. <clears throat> See? So K1 is this number right there. So all you have to do now, you got a corrected number. You stick that K1 in for that 468 and put the frequency you want and you cut it and that's it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, of course, you know, you got it cut for this uh, length here and just subtract, you know, off what it ought to be and it tells you how much you need to cut off. Now, you got to cut half of that off of each end. <laughs> Don't forget that. 